Hello, my name is Manu Blechschmidt. I'm the CEO of Incentigy. It's a consulting company and I will show you my small OpenUI 5 app called Business Card CRM. And uh, basically, what is it good for? It's specialized in reading and analyzing business cards. So here, that's a business card of mine. Um, and uh, it will run in the normal desktop and it also runs on the phone. And for this demo, I prepared a small demo. So um, I made a photo of my business card and here I'm uploading the business card, but it will also work if you are on the phone and you click on this photo button, the phone will give you the possibility to just create a photo. So um, if you upload the image, it's sent to the Google Vision API and uh, there is some uh, OCR done. And afterwards, it tries to, to find some results and automatically enter uh, all the things that are listed here. So in my case, it worked quite well. Um, I still uh, see the normal business card to be able to, to enter some, some of the stuff that wasn't recognized correctly, like CEO. So position CEO, could add that. Um, and I can also have a look in the uh, Google Vision API. So here I can see the raw results. And also if I click here on any R results, I, I think see these uh, name entity recognition results. So um, normally, um, or, or, or this, this application uses the local storage. So there is no connection to a server needed and there is no server need, needed, but you might want to share some of this business card information. And for doing that, uh, I created a functionality to send these business cards through WebRTC connections. And um, I will show you now this uh, as a demo with my phone. So um, I have to go on uh, the same page. So I will just do that now. Uh, last open tabs, uh, business card CRM. And you see that it runs on GitHub. So the GitHub server, that's the only server it needs. So what you can see now on my phone is that there are currently no business cards. Um, I will use uh, Chrome debugging tools to give you a better view of that. So inspect. So now you can see here uh, what, what I see on my phone. And what I can do now is I can offer from a computer, which currently has one business card, um, I can offer a web RTC session and this is the so-called STP, so it stands for Session, session Description Protocol, um, the STP descriptor, and I can copy that. And what I have to do is I now have to um, enter this on the phone. So I have to click on Join Web RTC Session, and uh, I have to paste it on the phone. And I, currently I'm using a plugin which synchronizes my uh, computer um, clipboard with the phone clipboard. I'm currently thinking about uh, using QR codes here. But currently this works quite well and now what I can do is I have to copy uh, this string here back to, to the normal computer. So now if I take this, uh, copy and I have to paste it here, paste and then set web RTC offer answer. And what I get now is I get a short button here and this button makes it possible to send any of these uh, contacts to the phone. So now you can see the phone screen and you can see that it's empty. Um, and what I can do now is I can uh, click on the on the business card here and I can click on this button, send to other web RTC client. And now you see that the phone just received um, um, this, this, this contact. So I can click on the contact on the phone. And now you have, you have the contact on the phone. And, and this is quite nice because this is really serverless. So there, there was no server needed. This was done through a peer-to-peer -peer connection between my phone and the computer. And I can also show you the phone here. So, so if you don't believe me, you can uh, see the phone here and it will directly show you uh, the business card that, that I just uploaded on my computer and it transferred all the, all the data. So if, if you're interested in the details, then uh, go on GitHub, go to business cards here and, and you can check out all the code and this um, project, it's fully open source, so you can uh, just use it. It's, it's not using Google Firebase anymore, so I removed that because local storage in WebRTC is, is uh, better. And it fully runs, it was fully developed in SAP Web IDE. So um, if you use SAP Web IDE, there's nothing more uh, than this to, to work on this project. 
Thanks a lot and um, I hope to see some other great OpenUA 5 applications. Uh, I, I believe in, in this technology and um, I hope that I see you uh, on some conferences in the near future. Bye bye!